As they continue to debate that state budget, filmmakers are warning that taking away big tax breaks could take their industry away from Michigan. In tonight's special report, Stephanie Parkinson explores how the governor's word has already moved the Hollywood spotlight away from Michigan. Act light, travel efficiently. George Clooney, Hillary Swank. Get you out, Kenny! Big name stars here in Michigan shooting major motion pictures. And Hugh Jackman even brought his act to Mason. You got a group shot. Mitch Album knows all about it. The award-winning Michigan author has turned his bestsellers into blockbusters. I want you on the road, Mitch. Big name celebrities lured by a promise of big tax breaks by a governor looking to grow the economy. I saw how this thing mushroomed from a $2 million a year business to $225 million in less than two years. And that's when I said, wow, this is more than just some movies. This this is an industry. Whether they need the atmosphere of a big city or a small town like Mason, they've been able to find those places all across Michigan, but now these locations aren't quite as appealing. Let's stop the tax credits. The man starring as Michigan's newest governor is calling cut. It was going to be the next Hollywood, and pretty much overnight that, that disappeared. Michigander Jeff George got his start in the industry right here in his home state. I was basically preparing for a move in Los Angeles, and uh, that month the film incentives passed in Michigan, and I said, you know what, um, this is my home state, I love it here, let's give it a shot, I'll try it out for a year. It was hugely successful for me. Action! Jeff got his first big job working on high school, starring Adrian Brody and Michael Chiklis, shot mostly in Howell. I got a lucky break and I worked as a camera PA on that movie and just basically worked my way up for there. Jeff has since built up his credits, working as an assistant cameraman on a dozen films. You know, this is what I would be wearing on set. Last year, the state spent nearly $200 million on tax breaks. In February, Snyder said he now wants to cut that figure down to just $25 million. Since the state's leader made that big announcement, Jeff says he's been unemployed. Pretty much overnight, you know, productions left. I was lined up for a movie that left for Louisiana. I think all of us were a little surprised. Uh, I liked Rick Snyder fine. I mean, and I met with Snyder before he announced this. I met alone with him, my, myself and him, about a mile away from here. Um, and we sat for 45 minutes. And I did not get the feeling after that meeting that he was going to slash this thing the way that he did, but he did. Album is working with people who help make these productions. That group, the Amend Don't End Coalition, is pushing for change too. They didn't wait for government to come in and say, we have to have, they said, all right, listen, here's a cap. Here's the lowest cap that it can work at. That suggested cap, 180 million, Album explains, is enough to keep this business alive, while still putting a limit on what can be spent. But for some, the damage has already been done. This was the last the last movie I worked on in February. It went from, you know, a possible 60 or 50 or 60 movies being shot here this summer to almost none, you know, five or six, which is not nearly enough to support the crew that we have here. The films have left town. If we find a compromise, definitely Michigan will come back. Um, but we have lost whatever momentum we gained Basically, whatever happens, we lost this year. Leaving Jeff with a big decision. These people like myself are going to have no choice but to leave, pretty much, you know, to find work. It's just, you know, just the way it is. Now, while there are a lot of people that are losing jobs, like Jeff is concerned about jobs, yeah. there are also studios opening up. Raleigh Studios in Metro Detroit, they're concerned they're not going to have enough productions there. Okay, do they have movies and TV things that they're working on right now in their studio? Actually, the film office says they do have some productions this summer, but Mitch Album also knows these same people, and he says it's just really not enough to keep them going, going. though. Yeah. When they talk um, about investment, though, Steph, I mean, everybody wants hard numbers, and we, we have hard numbers on what they're investing. Yeah, we do. That was an $80 million investment to okay. do that studio in Metro Detroit. But there are other people that are investing, too. So it's not just that studio. Other companies have invested in their own businesses that were already here. There have also been surveys, though, surveys done, though, that have been looking at how beneficial the film industry oh, is yeah, really to the state. And tonight at 11, we're going to take a look at those and why Governor Snyder thinks one in particular is flawed. All right. Mm -hmm. Tax breaks for the film mm -hmm. industry are on the chopping block here in this town. Advocates fear that could lead movie makers away from Michigan. Well, in the second part of her special report tonight, Stephanie Parker Parkinson's explores why the governor isn't on board with all those tax breaks. 
a thrilling Spielberg action film. A romantic comedy starring George Clooney. What? Follow me. Movie making. It's an industry giving a big boost to Michigan, but it comes with a price tag. It's writing people checks. And the issue is, is we're in this very difficult budget time. Former Governor Jennifer Granholm started giving tax breaks for companies who chose to film in Michigan to help boost the economy, and there was no limit on how many projects could take advantage of it. Last year, it cost the state nearly $200 million. Now, Governor Snyder wants to cap the program at $25 million. Give jobs to people, dreams to children. Advocates of the film industry argue the governor is acting rashly. It was gone today, as of today, just out of here. That, that is not a good way to do business. A lot of people feel socked in the stomach, people who moved here, who started projects here. But the governor says the numbers just don't add up, and the investment is not in the best interest of the state. The good part about being an old CPA is you have that good skepticism to identify um, good data and good analysis from flawed analysis. The study Governor Snyder questioned shows the state gets a $6 return for every dollar spent. He says when he looked at the same study, he got a different number, just 28 cents you do it in an apples to apples basis, that if you use the same criteria they use for Pure Michigan, an analysis that when I, we talk about Pure Michigan bringing in two to three dollars. But those working on set say these studies can't measure everything. You know, we need a 1975 Volkswagen, you know, bus or whatever. Um, well, some guy in Howell has to have it. Okay, here we found him. Here's a thousand bucks for the day to rent it from you. And they're happy. And how do you really count that? But whether it's a few cents or a few dollars, some say lawmakers need to look beyond those numbers. If you look at this purely as a math thing, you're missing the bigger picture here. Ask yourself if you're in your 50s or 40s or 60s, do you want your son or daughter to stay in this state? Although Snyder is proposing a cap, he plans to still spend some money on the program, but his figure doesn't sit well with film fans. He basically has crushed them, and this idea of $25 million somehow being, you know, oh, see, we gave you money, it's, it's not, it's not enough. It's like, it's like going to a plant and saying, well, I'm giving you a little bit of water. It's a little bit of water. Well, yeah, in theory, it's water, but it's not enough to live on. You know, if you don't give it enough water, it still dies. Mitch Album is working with a coalition of people who make movies in Michigan. That group wants lawmakers to instead raise the cap to $180 million, a figure they say would keep the cameras rolling. FEMA. While nothing is on the books yet, the word of the governor has already made a huge impact. Production companies are pulling up stakes, and the Michigan Film Office is already working within the governor's proposal. Their director, Carrie Jones, says it makes things more competitive, but TV shows and movies are still coming to Michigan. We're really just focused right now on making sure that the projects that we choose are best for the state. So far, seven new films, including one starring Jessica Alba, have been approved for incentives this year, and ten other projects approved last year will be in production in 2011. Meanwhile, those who want to bring more stars to Michigan also admit the governor has a difficult task. He has an impossible job. I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't balance a budget like that. And even if more money is set aside, Album is afraid this story still might not have a very happy ending. One of my worries is if we are able to resuscitate this and put it into a, a very responsible form, which we have proposed, um, it's still going to take a while to get people to come back here because they'll say, well, yeah, well, we trusted you before, and look what happened. All right, so they say spend a dollar, get six back. Spend a dollar, get 28 cents. Now, where does the governor get that 28 cent figure? Now, he basically took that study that showed the $6 mm -hmm. return and right. said, well, let me compare this to Pure Michigan. The same criteria right. the state used to look at the Pure Michigan campaign and evaluate giving them $25 million and said, well, shows 28 cents. He thinks giving $25 million to it is definitely good. He says good. that's apples you know, to apples. Okay. It, yeah, he All compares right. it on okay. that. But so. this really is, it's not a done deal yet. This is preliminary story. Really. It, it is. I mean, the film office is working within this criteria that the governor has given, the governor said $25 million, so they're working right within that camp. But at the end of the day, yeah, the, the lawmakers still have to go over this. There's still time. All right. We Thank say you. we want to have the movies here and that they're cool. We're just not sure as a state if it's going to pay off. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. All right. Thanks, Stephanie.